8th grade open up resources illustrative mathematics unit 8 lesson 11 finding distances in the coordinate plane problem number one the right triangles are drawn in the coordinate plane and the coordinates of their vertices are labeled for each right triangle label each leg with its length the side lengths of the right triangle that are called the legs make up the right triangle the points on this line have a horizontal change that equals 10. That means that its length is 10 units. The points on this side have a vertical change that equals 3. That means that its length is 3 units. The points on this side length have a vertical change that equals 5. So this side length is 5 units. Negative 1 minus a negative 6 is the same as negative 1 plus 6, which can also be looked at as positive 6 and a negative 1, or 6 minus 1. The points on this side length have a horizontal change of negative 7. That means that its length is 7 units. 10 minus a negative 3 is the same as negative 10 plus 3. Negative also means opposite of, so you can look at it as the opposite of a negative, which is a positive. You can look at negative 10 plus 3 as positive 3 minus 10. Look at the vertical change between these two points, 4 minus 9. Like I said before, you can look at this as 4 and the opposite of negative 9. The opposite of negative 9 is positive 9. So that's the same as 4 plus 9. Since 4 plus 9 equals 13, this side length is 13 units. The horizontal change between the points of this side length equals negative 4. So its side length is 4 units. It's time to do something nice. Like this video, say something in the comments, tell a friend about this channel, and hit that thanks button. Problem number two, find the distance between each pair of points. If you get stuck, try plotting the points on graph paper. Between this first set of points, there's no horizontal change, there's only a vertical change. And the difference between the location of these two points is negative 13. That means the distance between the two points is 13 units. Since the points for B have both a horizontal change and a vertical change, we're going to have to treat this line as if it were a hypotenuse of a right triangle. So we'll use the Pythagorean theorem to help us find the distance between these two points. The horizontal change is 3 and the vertical change is 4. So we can use 3 squared plus 4 squared to find the hypotenuse squared. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16, and 9 plus 16 is 25. So c squared equals 25. We need to find the square root of 25. And since the square root of 25 is 5, we know that the distance between these two points is 5 units. We'll have to do the same for C, because these two points have a vertical difference and a horizontal difference. Use these two points to form a right triangle, and we'll use the Pythagorean theorem and the length of the two legs. 8 squared plus 6 squared equals the length between the two points squared. 8 squared is 64. 6 squared is 36. 64 plus 36 equals 100. C squared equals 100. The square root of 100 is 10. So the length between these two points is 10 units. Problem number 3 from 8th grade unit 2 lesson 10. Which line has a slope of 0 0.625 and which line has a slope of 1.6? Explain why the slopes of these lines are 0 0.625 and 1.6. The slope of a line is the rise over run, or the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. For this line, the rise is 5 and the run is 8, so the slope is 5 divided by 8, or 0 0.625. 
For this line, the rise is 8 and the run is 5. That would be 8 divided by 5, or 1.6. Problem number 4, from 8th grade unit 3, lesson 7. Write an equation for the graph. Well, we can see that the line on the graph has a y-intercept of 1.5, and the slope is 2 over 1, or 2. We can plug this information into y equals mx plus b. We use m as the variable that represents the slope, and b as the variable that represents the y-intercept. Since the slope of this line is 2, we can substitute the m with the 2. And since the y-intercept is 1.5, we can substitute the b with a 1.5. Now the equation reads y equals 2x plus 1.5. So the equation for the line on this graph is y equals 2x plus 1.5. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video and hitting that thanks button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.